So hello everyone and welcome to Mumias West TVC. I am yours, Mugo Simon. Uh, they like calling me engineer. I'm an instructor at this institution. Uh, I guide my students or trainees on how to do their practicals, industrial practicals on these systems, the mechatronic systems that are, were introduced by the government of Kenya. There are these systems that we have been operating with. For example, this kit, uh, you can show them here. This kit is known as DLDS 555G. That's the code for this kit. It's provided by Arctic International and it's for vocational training. So this kit, uh, this system can only be built using two kits. These are our tools. This is one of our tools that we have here. We have the cutting the wire stripper. We have the, that is the screwdrivers, uh, that's two of them. Uh, one is the flat screwdriver, and then the star screwdriver, and then we have a set of Allen keys. These are very important when we are, we are doing the installation of these systems. And then we have our multimeter, because you have to test the continuity of electricity within the system. So you can see this system, it's a very nice system that we have been using for our practicals. And our students who are doing their practicals here, we have dismantled everything, we assembled this system, and we want to test to see whether actually they did what it's supposed to do. So then come, 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 come closer so that you can introduce yourself and tell us what this system is about, introduce everything to the computer to see whether you passed your examination. Thank you. Yeah, my name is Manuna Daniel. I've been taking Mechatronic Level 6. Uh, currently, I'm done with my studies. And uh, mechatronics is a very interesting course because you, you learn all about mechanical, electrical, computer, robotics. And uh, it gives you a wide uh, range of skills so that you don't just depend on one skill for you to, for example, to earn or uh, to earn a living. So in this system, uh, we had dismantled everything here and as uh, I have been said, we bring all together all these items and so I'm going to demonstrate uh, how before, this before you demonstrate, can you tell us all these parts? You introduce the parts, you start with the main parts as you go by. Okay, to start with, this is called a human machine interface. This is a touch screen whereby uh, you can select what you want the system to run. And then to come down here, this is a PLC. This is the brain of this system, whereby we do program uh, and then we download the program uh, in this PLC. It is called a programmable logic controller. And this, uh, this is our power supply unit. As you can see, this is our circuit breaker. These are the connecting cables. Uh, this is our button switch, whereby uh, we have a stop button, the reset button, and the start button, as indicated. And then, when you come up here, uh, this is a variable frequency drive, which is used to run a three-phase motor. Uh, yes, and then uh, here, as you can see, we have a electrical connection. This is our connector blocks. Uh, this is a stepper motor drive. A stepper motor drive is used, uh, this is the stepper motor. So that is the driver used to drive this motor so that it can rotate our conveyor belt. Then this is our, these are our air cylinders. We have several of them. This one, this one, and others. And then we also have solenoid valves. Solenoid valves are used uh, in pneumatics. We are using air to actuate our cylinders. So this is, these are our uh, air connector pipes, and then this is our solenoid valves. This is the three-phase motor, this one. And then we have a uh, pressure gauge here. We are using pressure, and so we are supposed to use a certain amount of pressure to run this system, whereby we are using 0 0.4 uh, millipascal, as it is indicated there. And then we also have an indicator lamp here, whereby there is a red in color for emergency. We have uh, this yellow, 
when it blinks, it for reset, and then when the process is ongoing, the green lights will be on. So basically, those are our parts in this machine. No, we, we have the sensors here. Can you explain yes. what these sensors do? Uh, we have three, we have four types of sensor in this system. One of them is an inductive sensor. An inductive sensor is used to detect uh, metallic objects. And then we have photoelectric sensor. A photoelectric sensor is used to detect objects that reflect light. And then we have a capacitive sensor, uh, this one, which is used to detect the presence of any object in any machine. And then we have another type of sensor here. This is called a optic fiber sensor. This sensor is used also to detect the presence of an object in a system or in a place and it sends a signal so that an output can be done. And then we also have another type of sensor. This is a read switch whereby it operates the principle of electromagnetism. When this cylinder moves forward, uh, we have a magnetic uh, piece inside it. So when it reaches here, it actuates the sensor and the sensor uh, comes on. Okay. <coughs> Look, uh, you have not talked about the compressor pump. Yes, we also have a compressor whereby this compressor is used to supply air for the operation of this system. Uh, the pre uh, compressor obtains air from the environment. Uh, in the compressor, we have a motor, and then we have fans for cooling, and then this is a storage tank used to store air. So there is some mechanism that goes on here. We have uh, the pistons and the cylinder, whereby when air is obtained from the atmosphere, it is being compressed and then be stored in the air cylinder. Yes. And then, yes, this machine is being programmed, as I said earlier. And so we have a uh, computer system here whereby we are using it to program our machine and in, uh, download the program to the PLC so that our machine is able to run. So we have a monitor here, we have a CPU and the power supply unit. Okay, thank you. Can you now try to run the system? We see whether you have got it, gotten it right or you need some improvement. Yes, so I have to switch on my machine. <coughs> And uh, it's done step by step. Whereby I'll start by putting on, uh, switching on the uh, circuit breaker. Then I have on and off switches here. So my machine. And then before I continue, I have to ensure that there is enough air supply by checking at the pressure gauge. So when that yellow light is blinking, I'm being reminded to reset my system. So this human machine interface or HMI, uh, we have a reset button there. When you click there, the machine is at home place, so it's ready to begin. Then when you click begin, the process begins. That is a reject. That is a reject. It's not supposed to go up to the last stage. Yeah, we have some misalignment that 
which is supposed to be done. I, I, I think the black cock has a different uh, size, isn't it? Yes. As compared to others. So as you can see, we have three types of work pieces that we are using here. We have a metallic one, an orange one in color, and the pen or black work piece. Yes, okay, that's all. I think we have demonstrated how this system works. And uh, I think uh, they got it correctly. That's how it should work. And uh, this is work that you are doing at Mumia's West TVC. And uh, of course, we are, we are welcoming more students or more people from the industries to come and learn something about PLC programming and the management that happen in industries. Thank you very much, Dan, for doing that nice work. See you next time. Goodbye.